So now I've written my essay and I want to add my work cited because whenever I do an essay, I, I need to be able to say where the information came from in case my readers want to go and take a look at it for themselves. Within our site, I'm going to go down to Web Resources and in Web Resources, I'm going to go to the Online Writing Lab at Purdue. This is a great handbook. You'll be able to use this for your whole career at the college or any college you go to. So first I need to know about the general format. And in the paper format, it shows me what my front page should look like. I have a header. I have this information in the upper left. I have my title that is centered. And then I have the rest of the paper. So I'm going to see if I've set my paper up that way. Yeah, I have my header with my last name and my page number. I have my name, the professor's name, the name of the course, and then the date. Wow, the date looks a little funny because the number comes before the month and then comes the year, but that's MLA format. We don't ask why. We just do it. And then I put my title here, and this should look familiar to you because we were making this into an introduction. So if I put all these guys together, and I always want to start with an indent. There, I have my first paragraph. I'm going to work on my Works Cited page for the moment. Now, my Works Cited page starts on a separate page at the end, and I want to go in to make it centered, and I'm going to have it say Works Cited. And I'll hit Return, and then I'll make it back on the left again. And now I have to see how is this actually going to work. So here are all the Works Cited pages information that I need. So I'm going to go to periodical because Time Magazine is a periodical, an article in a magazine. This is exactly what I want. Now I see that it's giving me a special format here. So first I do the author, the title, title of the periodical, day, month, year, pages, and medium of publication. So I'm going to copy this and I'll put it over here as my model. So here we go. First I need the author. So I'm going to do the Obama article here and it's Sam Frizzell. So I'm going to go last name first. Frizzell Sam period. Good. I'm doing okay. Now I need the title of the article. And the title of the article is Obama Looks to Reduce Student Loan Payments. Obama Looks to Reduce Student Loan Payments. Period. Quotes. Period. Quotes. Now, in italics, the title of the article. So I ask for a title, and I know it's Time Magazine. Whoops. Time Magazine. And what do I do at the end? Oh, I don't put any punctuation. I just unitalicize. Now I need month, year, day, month, year, colon, pages. Okay, day, month, year. 9 June 2014. So 9 June 2014, colon, pages. I don't think there are any pages here because it's an it's an online whoa it's an online periodical so because I have no pages I'm gonna put NP no pages now what does the what does Purdue have to say about this what if there are no pages is it gonna tell me here Anonymous articles, scholarly, oh, scholarly journals, they always have page numbers. What if there's no page number? Let's look here on a sample works cited page. How do they do that? New York Times, May 20, oh, they just don't put it in. Web, 25 May, web, okay, so we, so we don't even worry about that. So then we go from that to medium of publication, web. So there is my work cited. I delete my little extra thing there, but I'm also going to have to put this as a hanging indent. Watch how I do this. I highlight the citation that I just did, 
and I go to paragraph and here in paragraph I go to special hanging. I'm going to move this. Watch what happens when I say okay. Woo! The bottom just automatically moves in. So that's what I want. And then I'll start my next um, I'll start my next citation here. So who would that be? Frizzell and then it was Marcus. So I would start Marcus and then I type his name which I don't remember what it is and I do the next one. But this is how I would do the citation for my works cited page based on the examples that I see in the OWL online writing lab that I get to through web resources the Online Writing Lab at Purdue.